Hello friends, I hope you're having a great day or night. This is part 8 of a series of classes using Unreal Engine 5 Focus in Visual Effects. But today we're not going to use Unreal. We're actually going to add also Natron to this course and I want to use it because that way we can actually do a final merge. You know, we can combine both of the elements, the CG and the plate and we can get a cool realistic result. Okay, that's something that we do in visual effects we do when we're doing movies. We always will bring our CG uh, to composite on a compositing software. Most of the time in visual effects, movies and TV, we use Nuke. It's a very powerful software for compositing, but it's also a very expensive one. In this case, we're going to use Natron that's very similar to it. And it's also quite powerful. And I want to support them because they're doing a great job. So we're going to be using that. Okay, so you need to think at Natron as Blender, but for compositing. Blender does have some compositing options, but still this one is it's, it's better. Okay, it's better. Trust me. Okay, so I want to show you how you can download really quickly uh, the software. Just go to Google and search for Natron download. That's the name, the logo, and you should find it there. I have the one for Windows and also I download the community plugin that have uh, a lot of really cool notes and tools and you can download on this website if you click there it's going to bring you here there are a lot of uh, tips how to install it uh, I can show you really quick if you go to edit and preferences then you can go in plugin and once you have downloaded your your plugins you can go and click on add and select the folder that you unzipped okay so you need to unzip it first and then you select that you save you restart and you should be good so i'm going to get my plates uh, let me take a look here so they should be so my plate is here and i'm going to just drag this folder over there and my plate should get in as you can see there and i want also to get my render and my render is over here and i'm going to go and drag that in as well so now we have CG, and it takes some time to load. It is a little bit slow sometimes. Let's look at this. Okay, so that is the plate, and that's the CG. It kind of does a little bit of caching, and again, it's a little bit slower than Nuke. But again, remember, this is free. Nuke is very expensive, four or $5,000 for the cheapest one. So we're going to go and in here, I want to separate this plane. We can use the crypto mat and the crypto mat is going to be found here on this two. Go crypto mat and then crypto mat here. So that is a way that we can separate the plane. Uh, but we need a shuffle. So we're going to do a shuffle here and we're going to connect that over there. A and then in my shuffle, I can go and change this to crypto mat so crypto mat should be this one there and it's a little bit weird but let's say that we want to select the guy right we're going to go and connect the crypto mat key to the shuffle once we have that shuffle to, to a crypto mat and then we can go and click on any of these ids these are all additive and we can go and pick with control so we click in there and hold control and we click on it and that will give us an alpha and then we can use the alpha to mask the plate so I, the cg render so i can go and make a mask actually it's a merge merge there you can also press m and bring the merge but we want to change this merge to mask and then mask is for a we're going to copy a to b there and as you can see we have him cut out so that is one way okay you can use this mask also for color correction it's a very good idea to use them for color correction so maybe i will leave it there to do some color correction uh, but we also find we have a better way of doing is using the the, the layers that we render from uh from a real right those layers are very powerful and we have one for the plane another one for the guy and we have one for the the rest that will be the background with this guy and we want to use this ground to actually key 
and get that shadow information to apply it to the plate. So let's go and separate that. What is cool about Natron that I just found out is you can actually shuffle them without the shuffle. There's an option here that if I look at this, you can go and select the, the, the layers or you can shuffle the layers in here. So we want the default layer. And if I look at that, it's just that plane. Okay, it doesn't show the sky. It's just showing that card. And then we have another one that is going to be the person. There we go. It's a bit weird, but it rendered the reflection as the person. I don't know why. Uh, I really can do some funny things. Uh, and then we're going to go and copy that again. Control C, Control V. And we are going to change that to plane. Okay. Oh, that wasn't. It was just plan plane, but ah, I wrote it wrong. Okay. I have dyslexia. So if I do that, sometimes you're going to see it in my video. So don't bother it too much. Okay. So now we have all of them separate and we can combine them and start doing our compositing. So what I want is I want to bring the CG on top of the plate. I'm going to move my plate here uh, and I like having, so press M and I like having B always going up. Okay, something that we use a lot in visual effects uh, as compositing and I can get my A and I can connect it there. So now we have the plane on top uh, of our plate. And then I want to also get the person. We're going to put it over here. I don't like having it like that way. I normally like having that this way. So we're going to hold control and we can bring a dot. And I'm going to do the same for this one. So we can click here, M. We make a new merge and we connect A to here. So now we have the person as well in there. And I'm going to add a dot here. Then I'm going to bring this down and we're going to also do the shadow. The shadow, I'm going to do this side so you guys can see. And we're going to do a little bit more things to it. Now, if, if you look, that is great. We have really nice uh, separation and we don't see any ed white edge. If you do with the crypto mat, you will see there's a little bit white edge from here. So this is really, really awesome. Uh, the layers system are really good in Unreal. And as you can see, it's already looking pretty cool. Uh, now we want to add the shadow and then we're going to do color correction uh, to get everything done. So for the shadows, we need this. Okay. And we, for us to control this, what we want to do is we want to actually uh, make everything else white. So I'm going to bring a constant, constant, and I'm going to get that constant to have the same color so you can go and click on the pick there and we can click in here okay and then once we have that uh, now my cons is white as that so i'm going to go and do a, a on top of b and that's what we get and there's two ways we can do this so one we can go and add a merge in here let's go and press m that's going to be easier way and then we go and plug that with the A and we can change this to multiply. And this should give us the shadow. Okay. Uh, the problem about this is we can't control the, the, the colors as much. This is just coming that way. Um, let me set this to key. Oops, not key. Uh, move animation. I think there's an option here to re okay reset to default so that will reset to default but i like using a grade so again this one we don't have as much control if you go and get a grade and we connect the grade in there so again i sort oops that's the viewer again it's easier to just click g and we have that in there and i'm going to get my mask and connect it over here so now if I bring this down, we need to check. Okay, let's see. Do we have alpha? We don't have the alpha yet, so we need to key there. But we are going to get red, green, blue. I think the red is the best here. So it could shuffle the red, but also we can do a keyer. So we're going to do a keyer. 
and I'm going to connect it here to my source. Source. Okay, there we go. And as you can see, I have alpha there. We're just going to adjust our here because we have this shadow, but this shadow is on red, green, and blue, and there's an alpha, not, nothing on alpha. The grade uses alpha, so we need to have that connected. So what I'm going to do is with the key here, I can go and adjust, oops, looking at the alpha, I can adjust my key here, here to have just that shadow. And that's what we want. And now when I look in here, and I can make this darker. So I'm going to make it even darker. And you start getting a little bit too dark over there. So you could go and control a little bit. So it doesn't affect that one as much, I guess. And then we can control that way. And then here we can also, so aside from the multiply, we can go and do some color correction. Oops, close this. So, I'm going to go color correction on gain and then I can go and add a little bit more like a magenta to it and I can make that a bigger number it's not changing as much I would say changing some but not as much so we could go and punch the numbers in here as well can go and change more over there. I want to add maybe a little bit more blue. So I'm just using my mid mouse button there to increase. And then the same here. I can control my colors over there. Again, I want to be a little bit more magenta. And then the same here. And that is looking a little bit closer. Let's see how it looks. Mm, we're having a little bit of a problem there. Uh, but that is something that we don't need to worry about it right now. We don't want to lift. We could try to make it a little bit easier. It's getting too blue there. Let's bring more uh, more red up. And there we go. So the issue why we're having this is because the the airplane is on top, as you can see, um, in here on the render. So we need to erode it a little bit. Let's do a erode, and that should erode my alpha a little bit. So if we look at the alpha, you can see it's eroding. But we want to erode that. Um, Actually, the opposite. Oh, let's see. Yeah, we want to increase that. Maybe something like that. Let's see how it looks. On top of the plane. Yeah, that looks good. And now we have that there. And then when I look, you can see we have it working. Now, this color correction is not perfect. I don't want to spend too much time uh, on the color correction. I would say it's, it's a little bit close. I would say even darker will be better. So if we do darker, it would be a little bit better. But we're getting some bug happening right now. So maybe we'll get just another grade. I'll connect it here again. And we'll do even darker there. There we go. And let's see if I can change it again in here. 
Okay, it's getting too much when I do over there. I can do a little bit here, and maybe a little bit there. And I'll add a little bit of blur in here too. So we can do B for blur, and I'll do just a tiny bit. And there we go. Now I want to also color correct my pl my plane. Uh, so we're gonna go and get another color crack. We can use a color crack this time. We're using a gray there. We can use a color crack, and I can go and make this a little bit more blue. So I click on the four there, and then I can go a little bit. Oops, just a tiny bit. Come on, just a tiny bit like that. That looks better. And we also want to decrease the the contrast. And make it a little bit more um, lifted and it's just very little because if we go in and bring this up we can see that this is pops a little bit so we just want to touch it a tiny bit okay so we're gonna go a little bit up you can see it looks a little bit better and I'm going to reset that Okay, so I just press space and I zoom in a little bit here for you guys to see the result. I think it looks really cool. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much more time on it. And maybe some people might be thinking, why uh, Ezra's, you render 200 frames, but it's just, there's no animation in it. And I rendered to just uh, show you guys that you can render 200 frames and it's just take you around 20 minutes. I could have animated this, but that's not the goal of the video. Uh, if you guys want, I can show a video that does that, how to animate and move that. Uh, but I think this is good enough. I want to keep this short and even though uh, I try to, it still takes around 20 minutes per video. And just the last thing, I was forgetting to show you how you can render. So if you go to the end of your tree here and you press W. You can actually make a right node again i'm going to do it again so w that's going to ask you where you want to say to render that i'm going to go maybe one up and i'm going to go and make here uh, natron make a folder natron render i'm going to click ok and then let's go inside i'm going to go uh, render from Natron pop. Gonna go and click OK, and we should add expression here. So underscore one two three, and let's render this. So we're gonna render, and we will start rendering the four hundred frames, and once you have that rendered. You should be good. Um, if you want to render less, then you can stop here and you can go click in here and click S and change this to a different frame range. So I could go in 410. And now if I go and click on render, that should render here. Let's really, really quickly uh, see the result. Let's just check this really quickly. And then now I go back to my node graph and bring that in. So play Natron there. I'm gonna bring that in. Okay, I go and look at it. And if we move around and you can see, you can play and things are there so it should be good and that's it i hope you guys like the video and if you do some cool work with it uh from what you learn here just post on the comments and i would love to see it thank you for watching if you like this content and want to support cg help just press the cool buttons on the bottom of this video bye now